Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today, from garden to grill, I'm gonna take a round zucchini and fill it with heirloom tomatoes, onions, garlic, and other herbs from my garden. And basically all you do is you open the top up like a jack-o'-lantern, take out the inside, fill it up with what you wanna put in there, and you put it onto the grill. Let me see if I can cut this out. And this is the round zucchini. It's a little bit bigger than you normally let them go. You let them get to about the size of a baseball to a softball, but I like to grow them a little bit bigger so that I can really fill them up with tomatoes and other vegetables from my garden, grill it up, and it's, you know, a side dish for a couple of people. We're going to grill the round zucchini, and I've picked some stuff from my yard. This is olive oil and basil, some Cherokee tomatoes, black cherry tomatoes, onions that I grew, garlic. It doesn't matter what you put inside uh, the zucchini. You just want to pick something fresh out of the garden. What I am going to do is show you how to get this ready. You're just going to cut the top off. It does look like a mini pumpkin and you're just going to put the top to the side and you're going to core out the center. Almost like you're carving a pumpkin. Get all the seeds out. This is where the tomatoes, onions, garlic, or whatever you have in the garden can go. Behind the camera I can see some eggplant. I have some poblanos. You could put really anything that you want in here. But core it out, put this to the side. I'm not gonna use it for anything. It will go into compost. But you can see it's a nice, fairly thick-walled vegetable bowl made out of a zucchini. This is gonna get filled up with all of these. I'm gonna show you how to grill this first before you put the ingredients in. I'm also gonna grill the onions, get them ready, and basically but just you wanna grill off. the um, zucchini first, and you want your uh, grill to be up at least 500 degrees. You want, the coal, uh, you want the coals, you want the grill to be very hot so it starts leaving sear marks. And just put that in upside down. Same thing with the onions. Drop them on. The reason you do the onions is because you want them to warm through, get some grill flavor on them. And I'm also going to do a tomato. The tomato doesn't have to stay on too long. Just put it face down. These things you're going to have to watch. These vegetables have to get grilled. This is going to take about two or three minutes to grill. These are going to take about four or five minutes each side. And this is going to be about five or six minutes. So I've grilled the round zucchini, the tomato, and the onions. The onions to take I don't know, about six minutes on each side. The reason you want to grill the onions first is because they're, they're harder. So you want the heat to go through, soften them up before you put them inside of the round zucchini. And you can see it's the uh, nice grill marks on the zucchini. It's heated through, so the process has started for grilling. And here's also the tomato. So what I want to do now is just chop up the onion. See if I can do it quickly. And put that into the middle or put that into the zucchini. And that'll sit on the bottom where it will get hotter and that'll soften up a little more. I think I'm only gonna use two of the onions. And the roasted tomato. Oh, let's put that over there. It's a little bit hot, but that's warmed through. And that's going to go in next. And all the juice from the tomato will mix in there. Another layer of onion, some salt, some pepper, some red pepper. With my spoon, just going to mix it around. And these are the cold ingredients. It's my garlic, my onions, I'm sorry, my garlic and my tomatoes. Just mix it up. And again, you can stuff this with anything that you like. Just drop it in. And then on top of that is going to go your olive oil, your basil. You could just mix that in, push it down. Put in the rest of it. Some more salt, a little more hot pepper. If I had any jalapenos, I'd be using that, but I used them all. And now you have your round zucchini filled and ready to go. You're gonna turn 
this side of the grill off. This is where the zucchini will sit. Put the other sides to, to medium. This burner's on, this burner's on. And let this go for 10 minutes. Let the heat get inside of it. I'm gonna cover it uh, 10 minutes in, but the whole process takes about 20, 25 minutes. So it's 10 minutes without foil, 10 minutes with, with foil. And you know it's done when you press on here, you're gonna be able to see your fingerprint. So it's been about 10 minutes. This has been cooking on medium heat. The burner here is off. These two burners are on. At this point, I'm gonna shut off the center burner and just finish up with the heat over here. The bottom of the zucchini sometimes does get black. That's okay, just peel it away when you go to eat this. But you can see all the liquid from the tomato and the olive oil has come out. When you stuff your zucchini, you definitely wanna to use tomatoes, but you can use whatever you want out of your garden. Just make it, you know, with the vegetables and herbs that you love. For the last 10 minutes, you're just gonna put some foil on top. That's to seal in the liquid. You don't want it to evaporate out. This is almost done, so I'm gonna check on it in five minutes. But somewhere between another five to 10 minutes, your zucchini will be ready. It's been about seven minutes, and I'm sure that it's done. Remember, you're gonna cook this for 10 minutes without the foil on it. Just let everything heat through, and then for another five or 10 minutes, you're gonna finish it off with foil on top. Once you're done, just, it's hot, so be very careful. Just work slowly, work it onto a spatula, and set it on a plate. And you can see, let me move it over here, that it's done, all the flavors in there, everything is cooked through. I'm gonna plate this, and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. So this is how you roast a round zucchini stuffed with heirloom tomatoes and other vegetables and herbs from your garden. And again, you want to make sure that you do use tomatoes because you want the liquid from the tomatoes to fill the zucchini. This is how you plate it, typically in a bed of brown rice. It looks great. It is soft. It's ready to cut. And you would serve it just like this. And when you're ready to eat it, you're just going to split it open. Let all the liquid fall into the rice. And you can see that the onions are translucent, the zucchinis cooked through, and this is just a great side dish. It even can be a main meal. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.